Hi, Don Petrovich back at you. Welcome to part two of our water plant tour video. We're standing in the West Plant clarification or softening units. We have two of these units here. They can each process four million gallons of water a day. That gives us our eight million capacity for the West Plant. If you look behind you, the lime is added to a center area. It takes hardness out of the water, drops to the bottom. Applied soft water rises, is collected in the weirs and sent to the next part of the process, the filtration. We're now standing in the filter room of the West Plant. Again, half the amount of units, we don't have eight filters here, we have four, but they each process four million gallons of water a day. So that makes our eight over here again. All these filtration material is made up of granular activated carbon for the removal of PFAS, but it also works very well in removing the fine particulates from the water so the water comes out clean and pure. This is our wall of fame. We've won many awards through the years. The last two years in a row, we've won the Best Taste of Water in the State of Michigan Award, and we're very proud of that. But these awards, for me and for the crew, wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for my staff. They are the ones that help make this happen. We're now standing in the control room of the water plant. Behind me, we have a SCADA system, initials for supervisory control and data acquisition. Very powerful software. GM uses something similar when they go th through their whole factory process. Well, water treatment is processed too, so we, we monitor that whole process through these computers. Right here, we have our tank screen. There's literally hundreds of screens here. Uh, the operator can sit here and control pumps in the distribution system, see the levels of tanks. We can go back for years on this trending chart and see what happened. You see a, a line go up, a tank fills up, goes down on the tank. And now over here we have just a graphic representation of what's happening in the water treatment plant. The well screen, schematic of the plant, and distribution system. This is an engineered schematic of the water plant and surrounding area. Here's the water treatment plant where we process the water. Wells pump water to the water treatment plant. We process it, soften it, purify it, send it out to the large four million gallon tank, two million gallon tank for storage. And then we pump it back through the plant out to the distribution system to our 14 ground storage and elevated tanks. And these represent pressure areas, low pressure area, intermediate pressure area, you can see all the different tanks, and then it's pumped up to the high pressure area, there's five tanks in that area, then the high high, which is a 10 mile tank with the township logo on it. We're now standing in the water plant lab, the most important part of any water treatment plant, all water treatment plants have a laboratory. One of the most important tests that we do is a test for bacteria, specifically coliform bacteria. Now coliform bacteria is a broad spectrum of bacteria that's in the environment. It's very helpful in the environment. But one thing we don't want to see in our water is E. coli bacteria, that's fecal bacteria. We've never had a positive back tea sample in the history of Plainfield Township water. And we've been here since 1963. How we test for bacteria is we take a clear bottle, it's called a back tea bottle, fill it up 100 milliliters, take a sample up to the 100 milliliter mark, put a specific type of powder in there that bacteria like to thrive on there, specifically coliform bacteria. If it turns this color yellow, that means there's coliform bacteria there. If we fluoresce that in a dark spot with a 260 nanometer light and it fluoresces, that means we have coliform bacteria. We don't have any, so we're good at that. This is just an example. We also sample for bacteria in our distribution system. We have 20 sites that we visit three times a month. We've never had any positive bacteria there either but we have to guard against it. Thank you for visiting us today. I've given tours to over 10,000 people in my estimation through my career here of 45 years, but I, I'm, I'm thankful that you could see this video and you're more than welcome to call us and arrange a tour yourselves.